dear student today we will learn first chapter of 9th standard that is rational and irrational numbers first of all we will try to understand what is a rational number you know what is rational number a number which can be expressed in the form of p upon q if any number can be expressed in the form of p upon q where p and q both are integers but q should not be zero okay so p upon q means a fraction where numerator and denominator both should be integers but denominator should not be zero to know to understand rational number properly first we need to understand about integers what is integers what are integers integers hota kya hai there are three types of integers one is positive integers then we have negative integers and then we have zero which is neither positive nor negative so what is a positive integers you know natural number you know the counting numbers we start from 1 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so here 1 2 3 4 and so on are the examples of positive integers and opposite of all natural numbers means opposite of 1 that is minus 1 opposite of 2 it's minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on are the examples of negative integers and zero which is neither positive nor ne nor negative so it means we have to take one fraction where numerator and denominator both should be integers for example if i'll take 4 upon 5 okay 4 upon 5 it is a fraction and you can see the numerator of this fraction is 4 which is positive integers and denominator it is a positive integers it means numerator and denominator both are integers and you can see the denominator is not a zero hence 4 upon 5 is example of rational number let's see some more examples over here like minus 1 upon 2 okay minus 1 minus 1 is integer it's a negative integer and 2 it is a positive integer it means numerator and denominator both are integers correct and denominator is not a zero so minus 1 upon 2 is also example of rational number 0 upon 4 Can I say it is rational number? Check the numerator. It is a integer, right? Four. It is also integers. So numerator and denominator both are integers. And you can see denominator is not a zero. Numerator can be zero, but denominator should not be zero. So zero upon four is also example of rational number. Now seven upon zero. Can I say seven upon zero is a rational number? No. Do you know why? See numerator and denominator both are integers. You can see seven is a positive integers and zero, which is neither positive nor negatives. So numerator as well as denominator both are integers, but denominator should not be zero. And you can see here denominator is zero. Therefore, seven upon zero is not a rational number. Okay, so I think you have understood what is a rational number, and every integer. is also a rational number how you can see here one it's integer one is also a rational number do you know why because one i can write as 1 upon 1 can i can i write one as 1 upon 1 is the meaning of the number will change no the meaning will remains same the value of this fraction is one only 
okay so the meaning of the number doesn't change over here so one i can write as one upon one now we can see it is a fraction where the numerator is also integer and denominator is also integers okay so one upon one is rational number that's why integer one is a rational number two is also a rational number two i can write as two upon one three i can write as three upon one four upon one five upon one similarly minus one upon one minus two upon one minus three upon 1 minus 4 upon 1, 0 I can write as 0 upon 1. So every integer can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. Hence, all the integers are also a rational number. And the decimal form of a rational number may be terminating or may not be terminating but recurring. For example, you can see over here 4 upon 5. The decimal form of 5 upon 4 is 0 0.8 and you can see here 0 0.8 it is a terminating decimal form okay and 1 upon 3 the decimal form of 1 upon 3 is 0 0.333333 it keep on going like this so you can see here this is terminating 0 0.8 and 0 0.33 the decimal form this the decimal form of 1 upon 3 is non terminating okay non terminating means never ending but it's recurring you can see the digit 3 repeats again 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 it means this is called as non terminating but recurring decimal form so you can see that you can say that the decimal form of rational number can be terminating or may not be terminating but recurring okay so by uh, you can uh, you can observe those two numbers nicely okay you can check why here 0 0.8 is terminating decimal form it is a rational number and 0 0.333 dot dot it is also a rational number okay so the decimal form of a rational number may be terminating or may not be terminating but recurring therefore this decimal form if the decimal form is terminating it is rational number if it is not terminating but recurring then also it is a rational number